Okay, we are going to solve the missing number problem where we are given an array of one, two, n unique numbers and one of them's missing and we need to return that missing number. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a little example. One, three, five, four, and six. So in this example, we're missing two. Is missing um, because this array is unsorted. Um, we can go ahead and use a formula to find out what the actual total should be. So that is n times n plus one over two. That calculates the summation of the numbers from one to six in our case. Um, and if we were to put a six in there, which is n. Um, then we would have uh, 7 times 6 is 42 divided by 2, so that's 21. Um, and if we were to add up all of the actual elements in the array that we're given, um, that would be, let's see, 4, 9, 19. So if we subtract those, we get our missing number. Um, so it's a pretty simple way to solve this problem. If the array had been sorted, we could do a more efficient uh, solution by using a binary search. Um, in this case, we've got a linear solution, so it's big O of N. Um, so what we can do is go ahead and code this up. So uh, public int find num, and we're given an array of integers. Okay, uh, first we'll check to see if the array is null. Um, I'm going to throw an exception because I don't want a null array. Um, I guess one could argue that if it's null, then you'd be returning the number one because you've given a zero, so obviously one is what's missing. Um, but I, I think it's more useful to throw the exception in. Um, but it would be a good a uh, clarifying question. So if, oh, if ray.length is less than one, we're gonna throw a new exception. Like array can't be null or something. Um, and we're going to return like negative one or something like that. Um, if uh, otherwise, we're going to go ahead and calculate out our variables. So we need n, and n is basically going to be the array length plus one, because we're looking for uh, what it should be, and we know that if the array is of length five, then we know that we're supposed to have six elements in there, one to six. So n is array dot length plus i or plus one, and then we know that we need to have um, a target sum. And in this case, it's going to be, um, we're going to use n, and it's going to be n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. And then we know we have an actual sum. Actual sum, and that's going to equal, um, we'll start it at 0. And then we're going to go in to our for loop. I is less than array dot length i plus plus. And all we need to do is total up our actual sum. I. Okay. And then we just need to return target 
minus actual sum. And that's it. So let's go ahead and run through this. We know that we've got target sum. Well, we've got n. We have target. We have i. And we have actual sum. Okay. So first we calculate n equals array dot length plus one, and in our case, our array is one, two, three, four, five, so five plus one, n is six. Our target sum is going to start out, and we're going to say six plus one is seven, times six is 42, divided by two, so our target sum is 21. i is going to start at zero, and actual sum started at zero, and the first time we go through, we're going to do actual sum plus equals array i, which is one, so actual sum is one, i plus plus, i is less than array dot length, which we know is five, so one is less than five, so we go in, actual sum plus equals array at i, which is three, so three plus one is four, i plus plus, i is two, okay, two is less than five, so we go actual sum four plus five, is nine, i plus plus, three, three is less than five, so we go in and we say nine plus four is 13, okay? And then i plus plus, four is less than five, so we go in actual sums, 13 plus array at i is plus six, 13 plus 6 is 19, i plus plus is 5. Okay, so 5 is not less than array dot length, which is 5. So we get out of our for loop, and what we're going to return is target sum and minus actual sum. Our target sum is 21, and our actual sum is 19. Um, so we are returning 2, and that is indeed our missing number. Um, and as I said, this solution is a big O of N solution. Um, and the only way that it could be faster was if the array was actually already sorted when we got it. And then we could use a binary search and we would have a log N solution. Um, but this otherwise is the most efficient way of doing it.